500-year-old skeleton was found in the Thames, and its weird boots held a clue to the man's death. As Gary Hamill once said, discovery is the journey, insight is the destination. Londoners' workers meant to have a journey of discovery while going through their destination of building the Thames Tideway Tunnel, considered one of the widest engineering projects. It is also the biggest infrastructure project the UK water sector has ever seen. The workers' discovery was a mind bellowing. They found long buried pieces of history. At the moment, one recently located skeleton is flashing light on the death of whom once worked on the river hundreds of years ago. The River Thames has always played a chief role in London. Its contribution to the economic, social, political and cultural life of the city has always been taken in consideration, and that makes it one of the UK's most valuable rivers. It is natively at Thames Head in Gloucestershire and pours into the North Sea via the Thames Estuary. After the River Severn, reviewed as the longest river in Great Britain at a length of 220 miles, the Thames comes in the second place with 215 miles. The start of its path is smoothly calm through low-lying areas. Fresh water starts meeting estuaries waters right when it enters London, and it gets stronger and deeper once it approaches the sea. Central London has struggled with floods caused by the sea's tides, and that was the first and main motive of the building, the Thames Barrier, in 1982. It have always been a safeguard to Londoners after a lot of tragedies deaths caused by the high rainfall and the strong tides. The river marks the lethal danger. For hundreds of years, a settlement was built as part of the Thames by the Romans. With time, it grew into a center for trade and for building ships. The history of London knew changes that permitted the expanding process, as it happened with the naming that the Roman settlement went from Londonium to London today, one of the most renowned worldwide cities. In connection with the expanding process that London went through, the population ran grow to 2.5 million in 1858, and mostly every one of those people had their remains and waste, from food to trash to dead bodies, were thrown away into the waters. We can only imagine the decay and the putrefaction leading off of the common name of Great Stink. A great number of people also accustomed to use the Thames water as drinking water, and that was the opening door for a lot of suffering sicknesses such as cholera and typhoid that spread fastly around. The hygiene was missing and causing hard time living. Concerning the delegate members, the stench in the House of Commons went through a tough time that they couldn't endure the situation, so they suspended Parliament. The damage of the Thames River's difficulties with the liquid waste did not know an end. By the 1950s, the fauna was in peril or already gone. A series of master repair works and efforts started in 1960 and made confirmation that at least 125 species of fish can possibly live in the Thames River with no deadful risk. Since then, a happy news did rise up in the skies of hope. The hardships that the Thames River lived had an end, but happily each end has a new start and that's what made the Thames know a bright day and renew its conditions for the better. Since the days of Baselgate, London has known better days going through the summit of repairs. Consequently, its 150 years old sewer system is fighting to overcome its functioning, which is why the Thames Tideway project was up for instructions. The project's target is structuring a new tunnel, a super sewer under the Thames River, which can handle the problem of the excess waste. Even when the present is such a relief and a peaceful reality, the past ends up by showing up again in order to make in value the journeys that the river had. In 2016, Mola was the chosen one to settle for the mitigation work itself. It took in charge the shore's surveillance, registration of any historical buildings and onsets a series of archaeological excavations. The purpose behind that was to investigate the river's history in a very particular way, bearing in mind the evolving and different shapes made by the ancient humans.